Good morning, boys and girls. Friends, enemies, those of other persuasions, those of other religions, I don't care. How are you? Look at this, beautiful isn't it? Not even nine o'clock yet. It's gonna be a stunner. This is rainy old England. So there's other traffic goers and I'll be turning at this junction. I'm in no hurry and I don't want to hold any of them up. Even though there are reams of them. Wow, this is ridiculous. They tell it's uh, going to work time. Okay, that was my nice, Mr. Nice Guy for the day. Motorbikes. Question. What do you most love about your particular bike? Not the one you're looking at getting or the one you're drawing or the one you've got. What do you most love about it? And what do you most hate about it? Because let's face it, motorbikes are a love-hate relationship, aren't they? Me? Ooh. She's an old bike. But I love her versatility and reliability. Always starts, always runs, always gets me where I'm going, always gets me back. I can load her up with luggage, I can load her up with passenger, I can load her up with the shopping, a gallon of oil, some engine parts. Um, I can go great distances. I can ride all day. A, a, a nine hour stint's the most I've done on her. Um, with a coffee break in the middle, no problem. You just want to ride even more. She is so ergonomically comfortable. Um, what else do I love about her? Nothing. She's just a good all-round bike. She does what she says on the tin. Um, it was a touring bike of the 80s. A long distance cruiser and it still does it. Okay, it won't get to 0 to 60 as quickly as a new 1300 fizzy wazzy what's it. And it hasn't got all sorts of electromechanical um, rider aids. ABS, what the hell's that? Alan Bolter's safety? Um, I don't know, traction control? What do you need that for? You've got a brain, haven't you? Only a moron needs traction control, let's be honest. You don't know how much power you're putting down, you should be bloody well riding. Um, easy to fix. You know, spanner and a hammer, I can fix most everything on it. I've got a little toolkit I carry and I can do any job I want. If I need to, I'll take the bloody gearbox out, at the side of the road. New clutch, two hour job. Um, I've ridden many bikes, I've had newer bikes, I've had the 1150 GS, I've had a K100, and you all know that I've had the older bikes up through the history, you know, Bonnies and Interstates and Goldies and all that, I've had all those, but this is my bike of choice, if I could afford to have a brand new one from the factory, I would have one tomorrow. Sadly they don't make them, and sadly I'll never have that sort of money. The new RTs? No. Again, too many issues, too many repetitive problems. Clutch packs, throttle bodies, they're endless. Okay, so what don't I like about her? Well, she can be bloody hot in the summer. Um, later on today, she's going to be pretty damned hot, not because of the heat she produces, but because there will be very little air getting to me. She is so well fed. Um, what else do I hate? Um, <laughs> 
Okay. You can imagine after many years, I, I, I know what I like. No, I'm sorry, that's about it. I've had love-hate relationships with a lot of bikes. Some bikes I've loathed with a vengeance. But this old girl seems to have finally f fit the bill for Alan. She does what she says. So, hey, yeah, she gets too hot in the summer. loves and hates about your bike. What makes you want to get on it every day? Probably a lot of people don't ride every day. But what makes you want to get on it every time you get a chance? What makes you mumble? What don't you like? Interesting subject, isn't it? Love, hate. And have you named your bike? <laughs> As you all know, um, my name's Alan. The bike is Squeak. For a number of reasons. Um, those who have been following me know the reasons. So, my bike is called Squeak. Have you named your bike? If so, what's your bike's name? Come on. And if anyone says Cecil or Shirley, I should seriously be concerned. Oh, come on, sort it out. Dear, oh dear. Nobody knows he's got right a bloody way up when he ran. It's amazing, isn't it? You get three lanes of traffic coming into a mini roundabout and everybody stares at everybody else. And it's all down to the one who's got the courage to go first. Nothing to do with road rules. And the little old lady will sit there through six turns. Dear oh dear. Anyway. Yeah, love hate. What do you love or what do you hate about your bike? Or your or whatever your transport is. I've got some cyclists. Oh and yes, I have some news. 350 subs. Yay! <laughs> I never thought I'd get to 35. 350 subs. Do I deserve them? Probably not. I'm sure there are some who've suddenly forgotten me walked away. <laughs> But they're honest subs. They're subs because people are watching me because of who I am, what I am. Not because I'm a sensationalist or going to do any special offers or buy any. They're all my subs, pure and simple. And I love you all for it. Thank you, every one of you. And I've got cyclists and I like that. I've got a car driver. I like that. That's how it should be. That's how the world should be evenly divided. So, I am about to go up the pavement, which is about the only sensible way to get the bike parking spot. Because if you try and get in the way they direct you, you end up in all sorts of knots. That's it. My journey for now has come to an end. I'll catch you later. You know the rules. Ride safe. Try and be happy. And it takes a few muscles to smile. Mind you, then again, it only takes a few to smack somebody in the face. <laughs> so, try to say, stay happy. Bye for now. <laughs>